Okay, today we are going to make the um, CD case that traps small hive beetles. And uh, what I'm using is a slim CD case from, and the instructions are from the Beehive Journal. And I um, have the kind that has the black back and the one clear side. And But today when I was in Target, I was trying to find some more and they didn't have any, they only had the clear kind. So if that's the only kind you can find, that's fine. You just have to make sure that you um, cover it with uh, either black electrical tape or black duct tape or something like that because what the beetles do is they uh, seek shelter in here, look, trying to get away from the bees who are chasing them. And they go in here and uh, essentially find out that it's a death trap and they can't escape. That's what you want. And so, you need it, it needs to be dark, and I'm going to show you the tabs. This one is right here. They have these old tabs that you will break off. They're about an inch in length, and the instructions tell you to knock off about an inch. And I'll show you that how there's a space here for the hive beetle. See that? And so I'm going to break it off. And I start in the middle, and I'm using needle nose pliers, and I go nice and slowly. Um, all the plastic seems to react very differently. So if I start in the middle, it's easier to clean up any mess I might, or mistake I might make, than if I were to start at the edge. And you can see how much already broke off at just that one point. So I go nice and slowly, and I just twist it gently to get it to break. And if you need to, you can always clean this up with a metal file or something. But I think there should be, when you're done, there should be plenty of room for the beetles to get to make their way in here and get trapped. And I just want to make sure you collect those plastic pieces. So my concern when I was making this was that it's not good, that the space is not going to allow a bee in here because I am regressing my bees to the 4.9 foundation eventually. And then, so I wanted to make sure that this would actually not fit them and if I measured edge to edge, I get at most three inches, I mean three millimeters. So it should be just fine for them even once they are on a small cell foundation, which is 4.9. But I haven't made these before, so I don't know how many times I can actually reuse them. All right, and I am going to be putting a bait in here, which will also act as an attractant. And the bait will have a poison in there. And I plan to use boric acid. Some people have used uh, fipronil, which is a roach bait, but that is very controversial because really, do you want roach bait in your beehives? Even though, ideally, it would not make its way out. And when you put the bait in, you are not supposed to do it here in the center. It's supposed to go out here. All right, hope this helps.